I love your, I love your hair. Oh, I'm thank you. Sick, but I like, I, I'm the kind of person who likes to look different. So uh, I think dreadlocks is the only thing that makes me look different to see what I'm gonna look. I can do cornrows, I can do this, I can mm. do that. So I, I will keep it for some time. I, I've seen you also telling people that your looks does not affect your pay, so they should not come and talk about your hair and all of that. Initially like, when I started, uh -huh. yes, when I started, the people were like, ah, mm. a dinati, wow. dreadlocks, no, no, no. I didn't understand how that concerned anybody. Uh -huh. that, that is my hair. Uh -huh. and, and I, I did. So you go to the salon as well to yeah, dress to and all of that. The, the only thing off what? No, it's a dreadlock salon. Okay. Afro locks. We gotta do Afro locks. Okay, so you there there with the all your guys and your females also there too. Yeah, most of the time. Actually, where I do my hair is where almost every celebrity in Buddha. Hey. Some even stole more. Oh, do I see. So they do very very. They keep their hair very. So mm -hmm. that's why I do it. And usually you have females around it. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a dreadlocks um, salon. So okay. it's not like you're going to salon. And girls are there doing heavy yeah, and yeah. all of that. Yeah, yeah. That's great to know. But let's not talk about your movie, Adabraka, uh, the new Adabraka. Um, like I said, I don't know that that's truly the new Adabraka, like Adabraka just closed here, yeah. or it's a figurative Adabraka we are looking at. Tell me about this movie. It's, it's, in a, yeah, I, I should say it's a figurative Adabraka, but everything started off in Adabraka. I went to have a conversation, I went to visit a friend in Adabraka, and then he told me a few things of what some of the gay warriors do. And I'm like, wow, this is very, very deep. Mm -hmm. I can do something with it. So mm -hmm. it is based on true events of things that people have done in the past. And then I coined it into a very beautiful story, and then I titled it The New Adabraka. Wow. And it was received well, even though it was released at a time that you couldn't go into the cinemas to watch it. Because I never remember that you It was in the cinemas. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. it was at the time when Xylophone had issues. Uh, okay, so you premiered at so Xylophone we, Cinema? No, no, we premiered at uh, Sorabet. Oh, you we didn't? To, yeah, we went to uh, Sunani. Okay. And uh, I think those were all two places we premiered. Mm -hmm. Yes, but it did do well. And it received 10 nominations in the Ghana Media Award. Mm -hmm. It got some awards. And it received Ten nominations as well. The nine nominations in Ghana was good, and ten nominations in the Ghana Media Awards. Which they didn't give you. I was going to come to that because I saw this thing now all through, and nothing happened. But before we go, like, I heard you say that you know you released a movie during the Xylophone era. Did it have an effect on people showing up? Or, uh, oh yeah, of course it did have an effect on people showing up because at that time, musical brouhaha was so much everywhere. So it really had an effect on people. I can tell you. Some of them in the new Adabraka. Yes, of oh, course. Okay. Yes, James mm -hmm. Gardner is part of it. Almost all the signings were part of it. No, I'm talking about the, the, the you know you had yes, a class yes, or something yes, like yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. 
They were part of it. Okay. They were part of it. I did two movies with them as well. So oh, I see. Yeah, so they were part of it. Oh, I see. Because I, I was going through, oh, their dreams have been shattered after. Indeed, the their dreams have been shattered. But I, that's the reason there's a comeback for a new beginning and a new set of which I knew they were talking about it. Yeah, sure. Yes, yeah. yes. But yes, most of them do call me and go like, oh, we hope that this was going to be something, our dream was going to come true and all of that because of the actors and because of the, and they love the way I train them and all of that and all of a sudden everything just goes down the drain. No, they feel bad about it. Mm. Unfortunately, that happened. But how did you, how long did it take you to pick yourself back? Did you, did you ever say, look, I'm tired, uh, you know, after the whole incident, after you lose it and the feedback you got, even though you're done, did you, did you say, look, I'm tired, um, like, let's go to rest? It was draining. It was, it was, for me, as an actor, as a director, you know, before I entered Zion Pool, uh, I knew the journey I was on. So it was like, oh my God, my dream will finally come true. I will shoot the kind of movies I want to shoot. I will do the kind of things I want to do because there's going to be a big support yeah, behind you. And all of a sudden, it did crash. It broke me. Um, I didn't give up. I never gave up. So, but it did break me. And And I'm sure marriage also contributed. If you got married, so Waikiki was having your back. Not necessarily. <laughs> Waikiki has always understood that this is what I was doing. So she gave me all the support, and she always gives me the support. So it was not really, marriage was not really an issue for me because I was there before I got married, and still I was like, I was still doing it. So it was not really an issue. Mm -hmm. Are we are going to have an audition. I, I mean, I don't want to audition, but I want to have a script. You have a script. Yeah. And you, you and I, we've been down this road. <laughs> Ethel. And then back me up your you know, now, yeah. give me a script, I'll come in. You're special, know. I promise you, I'll give you a script. Just make sure you have time. I have time, I'll make time. So I ask for it, I'll make time. But let's talk about the audition, it's coming up, and I'm sure a lot of uh, young people are looking forward to being featured in movies and all of that. What's, what are they supposed to do? Okay, Nisi, before I even talk about what they're supposed to do, I, I am, I'm always on the journey, and I've always thought about it, the likes of What is the next step? If there are no more, who are the next people to take over? And that is why I'm here. Wow. Because I feel that uh, you can just mention a few actors and that's it, you're done. Mm. So I'm doing an audition to select actors, train them, and they become the next people that will take over the movie industry. Wow, that's, that's going to be a huge tax on your head. Yes. So you're supposed to come where and you're supposed to pay or what's going to happen? No, it's free. Mm -hmm. It's on the 16th of this month. Mm -hmm. That's just about four days from now. Yeah, Saturday, the 16th of this month. It is free. Wow. Free. What you have to bring is your talent. Mm -hmm. Don't bring anything. Bring your talent. Be prepared because I can assure you, it could be your chance to become the next Ignati, the next Manji, the next Nadia Aguari, the next Rakafia, the Kondeos. This is your chance. And it's basically for upcoming artists. There are people to who, who maybe they have been on screen before and they feel they need um, some more exposure. Some more exposure to get through more into this acting business. Then this is the audition to attend. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, who are we likely to have on the judges' table? You know, when we go for this back then, you know, the audition I was talking about, there was Pascaline Edwards, uh, which are putting there was <laughs> everywhere. Yes. Always everywhere. You know, this pass through at that time. <laughs> There were a lot of Chale, people, yes. Chale, yeah. it was difficult yeah. to break through at that time, yeah. you know. But like, you guys have done really well, Thank you know. You. Some of us, you gave up along the line. Chale, we couldn't continue. But you're doing fantastic. Oh, but I promise you, you're going to be in my film. Hey, yes, yes, I, I got a role to play. Yeah. So the people that are going to be um, the judges is Vanvika, myself, wow. and Gloria Sato. Wow. Yes. Wow. So you, 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 Let's not get star struck. Yeah, they have a huge task. These yeah. people are, they are ready for them. And we Where are we to supposed to come to? Where are we? Hotel Casarere. Okay. It's, it's on the East Lego Stretch. It's on the East Stretch. On the Papa's Pizza Road. Mm -hmm. So you can locate it. There are members too on the additional flight. That's on the American House Road. If you're going to America from Valdez. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, this is on the left. So they're going to start at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. and end at 8 p.m. Wow. So they should come on board and they should come and make sure that 
you know, there are people who know other people that want to ask you. Mm. So I think this is the time we should come to ask them, like, yo, the celebration's going, going on. on. Mm. 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 And, and I believe me, after the audition, we'll come here and we'll come and testify to the great work that we do. I, I can't wait to see that audition, and I can't wait to see the next project. Does he have a name yet? Is it a working title? No. <laughs> he doesn't want to release I, that. I, I have a, 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 like a few a things on my table to do, so I don't, I don't want to release like, okay. I want to finish with my audition. Mm -hmm. And be I sure. keep surprising people. Mm -hmm. But you have done really well. I'm so proud of you because uh, about two years ago, we we're talking about the confession by Frank Raja. Yes. You know, it was an almighty confession about how what, he what stifled, yes, the Golden Movie Awards for that matter, about how he decided to, you know, stop you yeah. from growing, Blacklist. you know, blacklisting you and was apologizing to you. Yeah. And I think I'd already spoken to you before that interview. Exactly. And so I've not had the chance to ask you how you felt after hearing him. I think I came to whisper to you that that's what he had said, yeah. but I didn't do an interview with you. Yeah. And I'm wondering, over the, after hearing that, I'm sure you've done some reflections. How does it feel? Uh, I now understand. Uh, I now understand why all of a sudden I was doing so great as an actor and everything just stopped. It was like, God, what did I do wrong? And I, I now understand that it's coming from a woman who had my back and all of a sudden he just said, okay, let me blacklist you. Although after a few till now, like I said, I haven't had any reason why I was blacklisted. What I did and what on your interview you said some people mm -hmm. said I said something mm -hmm. which, about him. You know, so I think people should be watchful. The hate is real, the backbiting is real. When you're trying to climb the ladder of success, there are people who will be there to pull you down. The most important thing is that if you do, don't give up. Because out of that, I diverted into directing and producing, and God being so good, if I was not nominated as an actor on that film, I was nominated as a director, I was nominated, my film was nominated, and maybe that has also given me a, a new direction for my life. So, all the same, we give thanks to God. Let's talk about the Golden Movie Awards. Uh, how did you feel? You, you sat there and some cover, what's the name of the Fisherman's yeah. Diary. Every time your film came out, either Fisherman's Diary or Patel's uh, a Gold Coast Lounge will go pick the award. How did you feel? You sat there through 10 nominations, nothing to go home with. Well, I was disappointed. You know, uh, the Golden Movie Awards is one of the critical awards that I have always In the auditorium, they were changing names and backstage. Oh, really? Exactly, because there was a lady on my seat, which I wasn't going to mention her name, that went to present an award. That what she had there, they changed their backstage. And so, really? Exactly. I presented an award, but I didn't see anything like that. Yeah, yeah, they were changing names. And oh. a few people also called me to tell me that, oh, they're changing this, they're changing that. And I think if that's the way they go, it's, it's really going to affect the industry. Wow. It's really, really going to affect it. Because I, w I wasn't going there to say, okay, let them give me an Award. If even if I didn't get the award, fine. But if you keep changing names and backstage and all of that, the credibility, the value of what you are starting, will just go down. Yes, so I was disappointed. You think you deserve to pick an award? Of course, day? of course, I deserve to pick an award. Even if I didn't pick anything at all, I should have picked screenplay, story, something. Even if I didn't pick anything at all, you should see the new other back. Even if I didn't pick anything at all. Screenplay story, and one of the things too that I didn't like was the fact that there were people in the movies that were also on the board. Oh, really? Yeah. Who's that? Because I, I just know members of the board. I don't. But know. I come, I come out is one of the people. She's a board. She's she's, she's a jury. The, yes. I, I never knew she's, she's that she joined the, the jury. Board. She's one of the people that were part of it because she's part of Gold Coast Lounge. Yeah, yeah. I, I met her backstage and we spoke. But like I said, uh, if you are trying to do Golden Movie Awards has been the years been consistent and they I regard them they the are highest team you, 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 you understand so if these things start to set in uh, no, that's not right. I'm sure I'll have to reach out to Mimi and the Golden Movie Awards team because I, I, I presented a screenplay uh, award yeah. that was for I think it went to Gold Coast Lounge I think so Pascal was the one who was I've watched Gold Coast Lounge say again I've watched Gold Coast Lounge it doesn't match uh, in the mirror of the Baka oh no I wouldn't say I'm here to compare films, but I'm saying that I deserve if I don't deserve at all. I deserve screenplay or story for that film. I see. Yeah. Mm. Now, but at the, at the Garden Movie Awards, you picked any? 
which I still don't have the homework. <laughs> no, which of the years, though? This, the, the, the one that happened the on the 30th, this, this, yeah, December, 2020. 2019, I should say. Oh, you don't have your, your plug yet. They owe me plenty of plugs. Tell me about it. What's happening with Fred Nyama and the award scheme? <laughs> I don't know. Because you're not the it. first person. I've heard people say from six years ago, you haven't still received your plaque. So I'm wondering. And, and I think that we've been silent about it. I don't know. Most of the time when I'm, I'm doing a little outspoken that I get blacklisted um, for, for just being outspoken. But I think it's something we really, really need to talk about it. You can't win an award. You collect it from you. Go back. You give it to another person. They collect it. We understand even if it's for just the award ceremony. Then at the end of the day, they present you with the award. But it's never been done. I don't, I don't have it. I won an award in, in USA. Something, something like the Canada Business Award. I still don't have the award. Wow. If you go on the internet, I have won awards. But if you go to my room, I don't have plans to show. <laughs> I don't have anything to show. I don't know. I don't know. Wow. Yeah, this is this, this, this very bad. That's, that's a bit disheartening. So, so <laughs> maybe we should be telling the people who just got the 2020 awards and asking if they can bring them. But if you don't have yours from 2019, how do you expect somebody who wants 2020 to have? Ah, yeah. You know, normally, yes, like you said, for the ceremony, some people just give you to show. Then yeah. later on, they you know, they present, like Korean Music Awards is doing now. They are now going around presenting the awards, you know, to the artists. But if you haven't gotten it, you know, it's the second year. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, let's take your final words before we go. Maybe you want to retreat to the people, the new reason to come uh, on Saturday. Well, well, I think that there are a lot of people. Wait, where's my camera? Wait, before you look at your camera, I just <laughs> remembered that you talked about unity. And on the same platform, a few weeks ago, I had Prince Joseph. And he says, there's never been unity in your industry. No, there's no unity. I think we are not serious. You are not serious. <laughs> yeah. Why? Because, you know, there has not been any structure that I can boast of. I grew up on the stage. I was at um, Art Center. I joined the Ghana Actors Guild. Until now, I don't think Ghana Actors Guild has done anything that has benefited me as an actor in any way. Nothing. There's no structure for Ghana Actors Guild. I hear they are called, well, I don't know, I don't understand. So I feel like even if we have a problem as, a, as an industry, we can address it. It's either Queen David backs, somebody backs here, somebody backs here, and that's how it ends. There's no structure. Like, we will be fighting with producers. But the producers, have, uh, they are united. They go, they have their they meetings. They have five pack. There's five pack. They have their meetings. No matter how they are or whatever, they still have their meetings. They still do their but you also said another one, screenplay, whatever, whatever. What about that one? Please, you can ask him here. Oh, that also is, is, is you know, know, tearing it's apart? A, it's not tearing apart. It's never been solid. Oh, I see. You understand? So I feel like we as actors... And I thought Ken Ketu was part of the Ghana Actors Guild. Yes, he was, um, what you call it, I think, one of the executives yes. of the Ghana Actors Guild. But he was heading, he's heading the screen. Like nothing prevents him from doing that. Okay. Though, Okay. But my point is that we haven't moved from one. We're still marking time. Mm. Any book in sight? I want to concentrate on my audition. <laughs> <laughs> let's concentrate on that. Quickly <laughs> give them another reason to show up and let's go. And well, like I said before, you can be the next Eminati, the next Magia Michelle, the next Yvonne Nelson, the next Jackie Apia. This is the audition for you because we're here to train you, have time for you, and prepare you for the screen. This is the time. So the venue once more for those. The venue is going to be at Hotel Caserere. It's on the um, um, the American, American House stretch from Valdeshi. Uh, that's the connecting. Yeah. And it's 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. It is absolutely free. Just come with your talent. Mm -hmm. Nothing else. I like that. Come with your talent. Thank you very much, Adinati, you, for joining sir. us this Thank morning, you, and wish you better days ahead. Mm -hmm. And we hope that finally uh, you get to pick some more. Awards that you can see real plus. Uh, <laughs> yeah. when, 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 when you think that, you know, thank you so much, Amen. and I'm so grateful that you made time to join us thank this morning. So All right, so that'll be it for.